Hi everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we are trying to wrap our head around the basic concepts of the chi squared tests. So, uh, a few of the things that we will be discussing in this video are uh, the testing of populations variance, testing of equality of two population variances, how we test for the goodness of fit, testing the independence of categorized data. Now, this uh, video corresponds to unit number 12 of MMPC 5 and we have crafted this video solely from your term and perspective, okay, just the MMPC 5 semester 1 perspective. So, therefore, we will just be touching upon and trying to understand what these concepts mean and we will not be going in depth into actually how we, uh, you know, do this in practice in the practical sense. As in, and we will not be going in depth on the hands-on part of it. Now, the chi squared distribution, what it is? Uh, the chi squared distribution is actually a continuous distribution with k degrees of freedom. Okay, and it is, so k is any random number. Okay, uh, and it is used to describe the distribution of a sum of squared random variables. It is used to test the goodness of fit of a distribution of data and whether data series are independent or not for estimating confidences surrounding variance and standard deviation for a random variable from a normal distribution. Additionally, chi squared distribution is also a special case of the gamma distribution, which is a, another type of distribution. Okay. Now, the higher the degrees of freedom of chi squared distribution, the more it looks like a normal distribution. Now, as you can see over here in this uh, example graph, you can see with the degree 3 degree of freedom, it uh, doesn't look much uh, like a normal distribution. But you see the blue line with 8 degrees of freedom, it has started to look more like a more uh, normal distribution than with a lesser degree of freedom. Okay. So, that is what chi square distribution is about. If you are new and if you are not uh, from a commerce background, then it will be a little bit difficult for you to understand what this chi square distribution is just by looking at this or reading the MMPC 5 units. Do not worry. We have enough time, especially if you are in the first semester, you have enough time to, you know, go in depth. Okay. So, don't worry. Uh, for now, you can just try to understand and, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, by heart what this t-square distribution or any of these concepts are because these are a little bit advanced. Okay, so testing of population variance. A t-square test can be used to test if the variance of a population is equal to a specified value or not. Okay, and this test can either be two-sided or one-sided. Okay, and the two-sided version will test against the alternative that the true variance is either less than or greater than a specified value and one-sided version only test in one direction. The choice of two-sided or one-sided test is actually determined by what exactly are we trying to solve for this problem at hand. Okay. Now, so for example, if we are testing a new process, then we may only be concerned if the new process uh, will be much more uh, viable or variable uh, than the current process. That is, we are only testing for whether the new process is going to be better than the current process. Then we will go for a one-sided test. Now, if we are trying to find out whether the new process is either better, how the new process compares to the old process, whether it is better or worse, then we go for a two-sided test, okay? That is plus and minus, two sides. Otherwise, if it is, we are try checking if it is only better than or if it is only less than means one side, in one direction. Either it is positive or we are seeing if it is negative. That's it. So, whether uh, so in which direction the data is moving that if you want to test that is what the one type one sided or two sided actually is uh, dependent on okay now testing of equality of two population variances to test for the equality of two population variances we uh, use something called as the f test okay uh, like we have uh, earlier in the previous videos we have seen about the t test we have told about the student's t test or the t test then we have the z test okay that is the normal distribution test similarly here we have the f test okay and this f test is used to test the variance of two populations whether they're equal or not okay even like other tests this f test also can be two two tailed or one tailed two tailed version uh, we say that the variances are not equal one tailed version we say that whether the variance is greater or the variance is less and here also the choice of whether we have to go for a two-tailed test or one-tailed test is actually determined by what it is, uh, what our problem is. Okay. Now, uh, the chi-square distribution arises in the test of hypothesis 
which concern the independence of two random variables and concerning whether a discrete random variable follows a specified distribution. Okay, So, the F distribution arises in the test of hypothesis concerning whether or no not two population variances are equal and whether or not three or more population means are equal. Now, the goodness of fit is another statistical hypothesis test which is used to see how closely observed data mirrors the expected data. Okay, how closely the observed data mirrors the expected data. The goodness of fit tests can determine if a sample follows a normal distribution, if a categorical variables are related or if random samples are from the same distribution or not. And this chi squared goodness of fit test is a statistical hypothesis test which is used to determine whether a variable is likely to have come from a specified distribution or not. It is often used to evaluate whether sample data is representative of the full population and it is same as the Pearson's T-square test. Okay, So, T-square test, Pearson's T-square test, testing of goodness of it, all these things relate to the same thing. Okay, It is just like calling the grape Mundiri, grape or, or uh, I forgot the name in uh, uh, Hindi, I'm really sorry. So, it is the same thing called by different names. Okay. So, testing independence of categorized data. Now, this test is used to determine if two categorical variables are interdependent or if they are actually related to one another or not. If two categorical variables are independent, then the value of one variable will not change the probability distribution of another. And if two categorical variables are related, then the distribution of one will depend upon the level of the other. Okay, And this test measures the differences in this observed conditional distribution of one variable across levels of the other. And it compares it to the marginal or overall distribution of that variable. This chi-square test of independence will help us determine whether the difference between the conditional and marginal distributions are significant or if they are small enough to be expected simply by random chance. So, in case you are interested in uh, getting the PPT of this video, I will leave a link to it in the description below. You can go there and download the materials. And if you like our content if uh, and have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And if you have come this far, a big, big thank you for making it. Mm, and uh, if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, consider giving us a thumbs up. And uh, that is it. Until I see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. See you later.